Hello everyone. So the next HTTP method which we are going to write using the HTTP async client is the post and the put method. So inside the HTTP async client helper class, here I will add one more static method. So public static, the return type of this method will be rest response. And let me call this method as perform post request async. Now the argument to this method are the first one is the URI object. The second one will be the content which we need to pass along with this request. The third argument will be the content type which represent the format of the body which we are going to send along with this request and the fourth one will be the header so map string string headers so here again either i can use the request builder or i can directly use the http post class so http post post equal to new HTTP post. After that, I'm going to add the header. So if headers is not equal to null, then post dot set custom header, sorry, set headers. And this will be get custom header, which will take the map object as an argument. After that, we need to attach the content so here it will be post dot set entity get http entity the content and the type and in the end i'm going to call the framework method which is perform request so here it will be return perform request and the argument to this method are the method that is the HTTP post and second one is the context so I'm going to supply null here and this will be here if headers is not equal to null No. and this is going to throw us the checked exception so here I will use try catch block and this will be replaced with runtime exception so throw new runtime exception e dot get message and the exception object Similarly, I'm going to write one overload version of this method. So the method signature remains same, only this will change to string. And instead of all this, I will just call the return and our perform post request async method. Here new URI and the string object followed by content then type and the headers and as we know that this is going to throw as the checked exception so i'm going to use try catch block here also and this will be throw new runtime exception e dot get message and the exception object and similar we need to do for the put method so I'm going to copy all these two method change the post to put here also this will also become put and instead instead of HTTP post I will use HTTP put class and rest of the things remain same Okay.
and similarly you can do for the delete method so I will copy this two piece of code from here paste here this will be re become perform delete and this will be also perform delete and this is going to call the delete method so delete HTTP put will be changed to HTTP delete and as we know that for delete we don't need this two information that is the content and content type so I will remove this two so we don't need this line of code and also this okay so now we have the framework method for all the four HTTP method that is get post put and delete using async client and similarly you can write for the endpoint which is secure with SSL so I'm going to copy yeah all this four method again and there will be just slight change so perform delete delete yeah perform get request so I'm going to make it get SSL this will be also become get SSL so instead of passing null over here in our perform request method I'm going to pass the SSL context object so get SSL context okay here also so get SSL context this will be post SSL request and this will be also SSL request Yeah, it is going to throw us the checked exception so I am going to remove and just make this as exception class okay so this is also perform put SSL request and this will be also perform put SSL request okay so here get context so this get SSL context method is going to return as the context or you can say object of SSL context and this will be replaced by the exception object sorry exception class and again here delete SSL request here also delete SSL request so there is not much changes only in our previous case I was passing null for SSL context object but when I want to deal with the endpoint which are secure with SSL so instead of null I'm going to pass the get SSL context method which is going to return as the SSL context object so this will be get SSL context and this will be replaced by the exception class okay so this is also okay so now our framework method are ready we have both the normal method as well as the method which is going to deal with the endpoint secure with SSL and on the underlying implementation both of the method is going to use HTTP async client. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.